Good evening. The headlines at 6 o'clock. Britain is struggling with the winter weather and more snow is on the way. Roads are blocked, rail and air services have been disrupted and the chaos will continue for several more days. Tom King has said that up in places, temperatures down to minus 11. Most of Britain has struggled with its worst winter weather for four years today and forecasters say that the severe conditions will continue for several more days. There will be more snow tonight and temperatures will again be well below zero. Across the country it's been a day of difficulty for travellers with rail services disrupted throughout the country. The only areas to escape the heavy snowfall were Northern Ireland and the northwest of Scotland. A man and a woman have been found dead in an isolated cottage in Staffordshire. Many roads are still closed, particularly across the Pennines, in the Peak District and in the Midlands. Six regional airports were shut for part or all of the day. Luton and Stansted are still closed. Much of southern and eastern England woke this morning to find the Arctic weather had brought the region to a virtual standstill. Snow ploughs worked through the day to clear roads, but driving conditions remained atrocious in some areas. Those drivers who ignored advice to stay at home faced long delays, or worse. The region's airports were still operational, though some flights were cancelled. Blanketed by snow, London was uncharacteristically quiet. Many commuters wisely stayed away from work. British Rail said most routes on Network Southeast were open, but severely disrupted. Commuters were advised to leave for home early. Many schoolchildren started half-term early as schools closed across the south of the country. The weekend's sporting fixtures are also expected to be badly affected by the snow. Among the worst affected by the weather are London's homeless. Driving conditions are extremely hazardous. Joining us now from a police control centre on the M4 is Joshua Rosenberg. Joshua, give us an impression of uh, travel conditions around the country. Well, travel conditions are very bad, as, as you say. Um, throughout the country, as far as we can see, most of the motorways are still open, but many of them are down to two lanes, even one lane in places. The traffic is moving. Uh, you can see from the monitors behind me that certainly around the M25 in London, the traffic is going, but really that's the problem because the traffic is going too fast and people are skidding. There is black ice forming, slush is turning to ice. The thing about black ice, as you know, is that you can't see it coming, you don't know it. And all around me, the, the motorway police here are getting calls from motorists who have crashed into barriers. To the headlines and also most people's conversation as well. We still got weather warnings out for the rest of the weekend. Further snow tonight and tomorrow, particularly over in the eastern areas, certainly some southern and central regions, western regions as well, probably not quite seeing so much tomorrow, but still hazardous conditions, not only from that snow, but there will also be a severe frost overnight tonight. Ice and black ice becoming quite widespread and a real problem, as well as that snow still drifting around, and that's quite slushy in some areas as well. So the main theme really is don't travel unless you really do have to. Well, at the moment, it's this low-pressure area just to the south of the country that's bringing all these problems with it. That combined with this cold, easterly flow of wind over the northern flank of it, because that means we've got lots of low temperatures and snow around. There's that low-pressure area. You can see I've marked on the snowy areas too. Some of the heaviest snow at the moment pushing its way out through Yorkshire, down in through the Midlands and towards the southwest. That will continue to see northwestwards across parts of England and Wales and begin to break up later in the night, leaving somewhat drier weather probably for a time in some of these central and southwestern areas. There will still be lots of showers right the way through the night, all the way down this east coast. There could even be the odd rumble of thunder along the coastal regions as well. Tomorrow, again, it's mainly the eastern side of the country that sees those showers coming in off the North Sea, and they'll be fairly heavy, particularly in parts of East Anglia and around the southeast as well. Recapping then on tonight, a fair amount of snow around, particularly down the eastern side of the country, those rather clearer skies getting in through the southwest, east in parts of Wales, maybe even the Midlands later in the night. And as that happens, we could perhaps see the odd patch of freezing fog as well. Temperatures at their lowest, where we do see any breaks in the clouds, maybe as low as minus 10, a severe frost over this southern half of the country, and indeed frosty right the way across the northern half as well. Over Northern Ireland and Scotland, we've seen some of the best weather today. Still some snow showers around during tomorrow, particularly through southern Scotland and down around the Irish Sea. That brighter weather in East Wales, the South West and the West Midlands, the odd snow flurry coming across later in the day. Most of the snow showers, as I say, across again near that eastern side of the country and still very cold. This Sunday, London Nedwell and Geoffrey